is what he's referring to. It represents another in a long line of 2020 presidential hopefuls that are looking to take on consolidation in the ag sector. But candidates do disagree on what should be done in response. RFD TV's Sarah Mock has that story. Agribusiness consolidation is not a new concern for American farmers. Particularly guys who buy a lot of cottonseed uh, are uh, a little bit concerned about uh, that, those consolidations. You know, they, they're, uh, they're downstream from it. They're, they're the ones who would, uh, would bear the brunt if, if, they, uh, if the consolidation caused uh, a concentration to the point that, that uh, pricing became unfair. Conaway says farmers in his district know there's a system in place to ensure that mergers won't harm consumers and that the issue isn't top of mind. But the House Ag Chairman disagrees. He says his farmers feel that there's simply nothing they can do about it. So we have antitrust provisions in the law. Does anything happen with it? No. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's going to change. I just don't see it. You know, I mean, um, nothing has happened over the last 20, 30 years. There's going to continue to be consolidation. Uh, it's going to happen. I don't think there's anything you can do about it. You know, other than make things available for small farms, like we've done with dairy, like we've done, you know, in some other areas, uh, and encourage them. Consolidation and antitrust in agriculture have been key issues among 2020 presidential hopefuls. Senator Bernie Sanders agrees with Peterson, saying that the lack of antitrust competition has led to higher prices, less competition, and economic pain for farmers. He even went beyond calls to put a hold on further consolidation, saying to a Huff Post reporter, quote, I think we've not only got to have that moratorium, but we have to go further. We have to start breaking them up. Other candidates aren't willing to go so far. I would like to look at each merger on its own. You could have a small merger in the agriculture area. I, maybe they have a limit on what it is, but I think the best thing is to be able to really take this on in a bigger way. It's not just agriculture. In addition to Klobuchar and Sanders, Senator Elizabeth Warren has also made antitrust a cornerstone of her ag platform, as has Senator Cory Booker, who last year introduced legislation calling for an 18-month moratorium on ag mergers. For RFD-TV, I'm Sarah Mock in Washington. Thanks for